On July the 15th and 16th, 2014, Chinese President Xi Jinping is attending the 6th BRICS Summit in Brazil. From July 17th to the 23rd, he will pay state visits to Brazil, Argentina, Venezuela, and Cuba. This is Xi Jinping's second visit to Latin America as Chinese president and his fourth visit to the region in all. On June the 5th, 2013, during a speech to the Senate of Mexico, President Xi used an old Chinese saying, as distance tests a horse strength, time reveals a person's heart. The journey shared by China and Latin America has shown and will continue to show that bilateral relations are open, inclusive, cooperative, and mutually beneficial. We've seen that our countries has become in a major trading partners with China, and China is becoming a major foreign investor in our countries. And, and the political uh, relationship with both countries, uh, with China, Argentina, uh, or China, and many, most of Latin American countries has been growing very, very fast. So we've seen this in the past. Uh, Argentina is an example that has benefited tremendously of the development of China, economic development and social development of China. But of course, we have good relations, political good relations, and we are countries which are very good friends with the same interests because we are developing countries and emerging economies. So definitely uh, the world will be more and more uh, interrelated with China. And it's a win-win situation. The fact is, the links between China and the countries of Latin America have a long history. I don't know if you are aware that 10% of the Peruvian population has some Chinese blood. One in 10 Peruvians have some great-great-grandfather coming from China. That means 3 million people in Peru are in a way related to China. And China has been in the last 160 years, more than 160 years, part of the history of Peru. So we are very much entrenched in our history, and I hope we will be very much entrenched in our future for development. In the past year, two phrases have been frequently heard in both China and Latin America, namely deepening reform and economic transformation. As developing economies, the countries of Latin America and China share common goals. And the, the, we see similarities, I mean, uh, between Argentine uh, economic policies from Cristina, our president, and the, like the policies, I mean, from Xi Jinping, I mean, and the new leaders of China. Uh, and, and it has to be related that with the need that we understand that we are both econ uh, developing countries. I mean, that's in a sense uh, means that more or less we have the same domestic uh, political economic agenda. But in the end, uh, the objectives, uh, the objectives are, are, are the same. So we can share this kind of experience and we are doing that. Their similarities have made deepening reform and economic transformation a common factor understood and supported by both China and the countries of Latin America. I've, I'm not the one to, uh, to analyze that. Uh, I think the Chinese leadership itself has, um, uh, has said consistently that uh, there is a need to change the model. And the model has been investments and exports. Well, the model has to be more uh, an inwards, uh, inward looking. Uh, and that I'm sure that this is already taking place uh, to some extent. Uh, I think uh, what happened in China has been a miracle uh, to some extent. Coming down to seven uh, or so uh, was only natural. So uh, um, we are not really concerned about deceleration. Of course, uh, there were analysts that uh, were predicting 
uh, or at least uh, you know considering uh, that um, there might be uh, what they would call a hard landing of the Chinese economy. This has not happened so far. This is this is an equation that uh, China has to make sure it, it, uh, you know it's well balanced um, uh, and. Probably, uh, you know, balance would be somewhere in the re in the range of seven percent a year. Uh, but to me, uh, to us, and I think to the world, this is enough to uh, make a large contribution uh, to the world growth.